Okay, I had an interesting uh, question thrown up about how good uh, particular filters are. One of the questions was about the Donaldson, and I just sort of said, just be careful, because we've stumbled across this before, and I went out and bought another one, and I thought I'd go and have a look. I'm not really happy with the quality of these things, whether they're filtering down to a certain micron rating or not, who knows? But when we take out from a brand new Donaldson filter, the drain at the bottom, we've got white paint everywhere. But get ready, it gets worse. If I rub my finger on the inside, I pull out lots of white paint. So when these things are made God knows where, they're obviously actually pressed together and fully finished with the filter inside. And when they are spray painted, the spray painting goes all in on the inside. Look at that. If I keep wiping, I just get more and more and more and more white paint out. That's crazy. The guy that put the post up saying it's only in the thread is completely wrong. When you keep wiping in there, there's white paint and lots and lots and lots of it comes out there. One constellation is, of course, that's on the dirty side. I noticed when we looked at the kit, they actually pulled the fuel up through the middle. So that means all those particles are going to get stuck, hopefully, in the filter. But build quality, come on guys. We're just little Berrima Diesel. We're pulling apart filters and taking a physical look at things. And it's absolutely obvious that there's extremely low quality, not much level care going into stuff. I challenge all the filter companies to pick their act up. Whether they're big or small, most of them are big. These guys are big. But again, who knows where they're buying it from. So give your engineers a kick in the ass and tell them to start tidying up what they're doing. Because that's poor quality with loose paint powder all through the place. Not well done. So for more information, you can keep watching our YouTubes, get on the Facebook. This might be entertaining, might be bad for some people. We don't really care because this is what we're finding and we're a little bear of a diesel. So keep your eye out on the stuff that you're using. I always say check your filters, check the quality. Have a look at that. Even spend a few bucks and pull one apart so you're sure. Because you're using stuff that's non-genuine. Surprisingly nowadays there's a lot of crap on the market. When I was 30 years ago at the start of my time in this trade, there was probably one genuine, one copy or two good, good quality copies, and maybe one or two crappy copies. Now we've got the genuine, two copies, maybe even three now that seem to be okay, and then we've got about 20 crappy ones. And what I'm seeing more and more is the big manufacturers going to crappy suppliers, and they're just warehousing. They're not even making stuff anymore. They claim they've got engineers, well get your engineers stuck into it, check your quality control. This white paint is absolutely disgusting and they need to do something about fixing that up. I'm Andrew from Berrima Diesel.